for social media questions, Jake, if you want to jump into Good Trade, Bad Trade. Yeah, um, I uh, I have a decent amount to talk about. Um, I, I fucking – I had such a good April and then this is why I usually take breaks when I go on good runs because then I just, I just do dumb shit for a week and that's what I felt I did last week. So I've got a decent amount to talk about. Uh, I'm going to start with Peloton. So we were talking about how, you know, the breakout buys versus the, versus the support buys. So we were doing the right thing in this Peloton um, because two Fridays ago, April 24th, we saw huge buying off that 30 bucks when Peloton announced that they, um, they had a record live streaming audience. They had 24,000 people for a class. And that just gave all this uh, bullish volume and all that stuff. So we were hawking it. We were like, all right, on this pullback, we want to buy it against 30 because that's where we saw buying come in. So on a few days later, April 28th, I was buying the dip on Peloton hard, and I ended up just kind of getting out end of day when it closed 29.80 because it took out that 30, but it really needed to take out 29 to the downside. Because mm-hmm. So I bought 29 on the way up, and then when it retested, I was playing against 30. That's just like, you know, a, a, a simple little detail that will fuck up my whole week. So, I, you know, I missed that trade. I ended up buying it today, and I, I kicked some at the strength. But again, that's the breakout buy, and I'm, you know, now I'm in these in these past two weeks. I'm like break even in the name, you know, when I should be killing it. So yeah. um, that was when I messed up. Um, and then so this Intel, all right. And then I messed up this Intel too. Whereas, all right, so I'm buying. We bought this last Wednesday ish, whatever that was, through this this 60 quarter area. I had I was fucking massive. And there's the bigger level above it, sitting there at 62. So me, and I was sitting there like, I'm cautious about the market. I'm going over the, the, the NASDAQ. And I knew we were overbought a bit in that, you know, it was, it was it, you know, am I asking too much of the market to hold that entire position? So then the next day it, co- it comes right back to our price. Um, and I know the real out is 58 and 56. So I downsize on it. I don't d- take anything off that first day. And I downsize break even knowing that it'll likely give me a, a, a shot lower. You know, and I, I ended up loading the absolute boat today. Uh, you know, I, I got a full position on now. But I, what I needed to do was take some off that first day, like I've been doing. You know, I've been taking things off day one, um, the entire month of April, and then I wanted to stop because you know my P and L was up, and all these uh, and all these outside factors that caused me to mess up these trades. So something. So I told you where I messed that Intel up, and then here's where I did well with this snap. Um, so I bought the snap 17. And then again, that, that next day where things were coming back, I had no problem taking off snap under 18 because I felt it would likely, I could hold on to a core because the real out, the, you know, I'm not wrong in the trade until it breaks this earnings day low, this 15 area. So I knew how far that was and I'd probably get another chance lower to buy the stock. So I didn't hesitate at all taking some off under 18. That was a proper thing to do. I only have a feeler position, but I booked some profit. Now I have a great read on the name. Whereas Intel, I could have booked a bunch of profit um, and, you know, I still have a good read on the name, but I didn't make any money. I didn't book anything. So that was my main mistake there. Um, yeah, and that, that's all I really got to go over. What, what about you? What do you got? Um, so I have two. Um, one was American Express we talked about last week was through that, you know, that through that 85 buy. Um, the main mistake for me is you know, we had that great three-day pop into 96. And this is just me not being stubborn, but still kind of stuck, you know, because I've been in the same for a bit, you know. I, you know, I bought earlier through ninety, where I didn't want to start. You know, if I'm saying I'm looking to buy this and hold it back to the, the reach out the highs, I'm trying not to sell in those quick, you know, three day moves, which realistically I should be. And now it's kind of back to where you know I basically was, you know, buying it last week. So that was one of the main mistakes. And again, that's kind of the tricky part when you know you know short term you should take some off but in your head you're like you know if I'm saying I'm going to look to sell some, you know 130 140 why am I looking to sell it if, you know a few points higher right and that's you know that's trading um, and then the other one was I guess good trading again it's kind of just starting was this intel you know we've been talking a lot in this entire chart chart talk about buying back up off of support and trying to avoid some of those breakout plays so for intel you know instead of trying to buy 62 and being perfect I'm trying to buy 60 you know 58 versus 56 and then if it can get up to 62 and it does break out, that's great. But I have much better stock, you know, I'm risking two dollars versus having to risk, you know, eight dollars in Intel, which is just way too much in that name. So that's the focus I'm trying to shift in this week. I'm trying to find more of these Intel setups. Um, are you? Are, take you advantage. are you in this Intel now? Or are you waiting till tomorrow? No, I'm in it. I got. I just checked. I had the 
Oh, was it a 5805 buy stop to high? It was 5807, so nice. I definitely got definitely got hit. Someone's got to be the high. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it, though. Um, so with that, if you want, we could jump into top idea of the week. Um, yeah, so, I mean, that Samar was mentioned. Um, but things like uh, we're trying to buy the retest, the, the retest of earnings days lows, and that's uh, – so PAYC, we missed it today. But these are the things we're looking for, where it's like strong earnings day move, and then it comes back and retests that level, you know. And we saw it in this this PKG, very similar. We're talking about at the end of the day. These are the things we need to look for, these retests, because that is such a nice setup. Um, so, um, you know, we talked about this Intel a lot. I like that. I like Snapchat still. And then lastly, um, this work, W-O-R-K, uh, Slack, against um, this 25 area. They don't have... They don't have earnings for another month or so, so there's some time there. So if it's able to push up through this 